Meat bicycle! Hello everybody! Welcome back to another modded weapon guide here on Borderlands 2. Today we are back with another weapon in hand to uh, review. This is a modded SMG uh, and it's effectively a seriously high fire rate and high damage over time flamethrower. Um, so we're here in Southern Shelf Bay giving this a try out. Uh, just starting off easy against some uh, bully mongs or primal beasts as they're called on this player because I still haven't finished that side mission. Uh, and yeah, we're just uh, flaming the uh, the ice below us but and uh, as you can see this thing does actually when you fire um, especially hip firing this does look like a flamethrower uh, we've had quite a few flamethrower mods uh, so far but uh, I like to review all of them and each and every one of them is pretty different uh, so yeah this is actually called the Mokstraza uh, and it's made by Smokpokin 42,000 or um, over on the Borderlands 2 community GitHub. So, as always, we're going to give this a good view and let's start off by showing you guys exactly where to get this. So, as always, you can click on the link in the description which will take you straight there or you can head over to the Borderlands 2 community GitHub and navigate there yourself by clicking on Borderlands 2 mods and then scrolling down in alphabetical order to Smot Poking section which is just here. Click on that and that will bring up the two guns he's done so far. Uh, we've already reviewed one of them and that is the Blunderbuss. T today is uh, our chance to look at the Mokstraza so click on that. That will bring up the weapons information page as you can see plenty of details in there and of course um, Smot uses those weapon usage tables which I really like. Uh, anyway click on the raw tab, right click, save as and save into your Borderlands 2 binaries folder. Remember what you saved it as and then come into the game and execute this on the console command and that will uh, turn the weapon uh, that you're supposed to be using into the uh, Moxstraza. The weapon that this replaces is the Moxie's Good Touch, uh, which obviously you can get from Moxie by tipping her in Concordia repeatedly until she gives you it. Uh, this is what the weapon looks like. The red text says, Holy God, is she breathing fire? And uh, what a cool skin this has got on it. And uh, really, really cool skin, actually. And uh, of course, with this being a Moxie weapon, it will heal you as well. So, time to give this a try out in uh, the rest of Southern Shelf Bay while I uh, run through the list of changes. So the Moxstraza was made by Smokpokin42000. Um, it's effectively a flamethrower using the E-Tech Fire Splat Gun projectile and the fire damage over time and fire rate have been increased to very high levels. Due to the projectile's tendency to kill the player character in one hit when using the B, he recommends using this without the B shield. Uh, some of you guys will be very happy to hear about that because if I use the B, I get told off. Uh, and, uh, I haven't used it since, I don't think. Well, actually, maybe once. So, uh, yeah, no B definitely in this one because it will kill you. Uh, this is a nice fun weapon for use against flesh enemies. Far less effective against armor or shields, which is uh, obviously natural. Uh, and guess what we're going to do? We're going to take it up against an ironclad lunatic right here. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it does do quite well actually. Uh, obviously, I am using the Flame of the Firehawk build Krieg, um, which is definitely helpful in this situation, especially against ironclad lunatics and people like that. Uh, anyway, features. 8% damage uh, done gives you some healing as well, which, uh, like I said, is a moxie weapon as well, so it will always heal you. Uh, this has massive fire dot, 12.5% extra bullet speed. Ammo regen is uh, every 4 seconds uh, you get one, or is that 4 per second? That looks like 4 per second for sure. You can see bottom right of the screen, uh, that is going up pretty quickly which you definitely need to because you can soon run through ammo in this thing uh, a lot of ammo actually which I found out uh, it has reduced crit damage just to uh, bring it back to balancing um, very well which obviously with the sheer amount of fire rate that you can actually get with this thing you need it to be well balanced um, also it has um, fire only elements you can't get this in any other element other than fire which obviously would be in a good touch uh, it comes only fire anyway and uh, this has increased weapon spread to make it more uh, more flamethrower-ish as you can uh, see when actually firing it. Um, he then provides a weapon usage table as well which um, basically he rates from minus 10 to 10 effectiveness of things. I won't through, run through all of them but uh, he tells you that close range is an 8 out of 10, medium range is perfect at 10, long range is a 4 
uh, and then ultra long range is minus four so you can have a look at that and uh, determine what kind of uh, use this weapon is for things it also provides other things like health regen scores ammo regen speeds stuff like that i do like a uh, smart weapon usage table it's a really really good idea uh, while aiming down the site it bursts fires a 10 round burst and has a hundred percent extra bullet speed as well compatibility info this will use the moxie's good touch uh, which i have already said and uh, it also uses this firing mode uh, which you can see on screen um, when you go ahead onto his section uh, changes he's uh, balanced the weapon since uh, initially released in it and tested it as well uh, the skin is a pink on black with magenta stripe skin complete which is really good uh, he also says that uh, he feels this is already a pretty fair polished and balanced weapon but if you find anything uh, bug wise or feel like the balancing should be changed or would like a different skin let him know on the github or reddit personal message feature and uh, yeah he's happy to hear about that and also a few credits listed uh, CZR spec 5's gun creation guide Dave skin modding guide uh, XMNGR for his e-tech flap effects and Dave for his pocket vacuum which provided insight into switching weapon projectiles as well so quite a few thanks there that inspired this weapon but uh, yeah all in all guys I really think this thing is absolutely brilliant I love the look of it the skin on it is absolutely awesome as you can see right now it does a fair bit of damage to Midgemong as well who is a pretty tanky boss so yeah for a fire only weapon I feel this thing really does hold its own against uh, many enemies again with shielded enemies and things like that normally they can be pretty tough for a fire element only weapon obviously it's going to rip through some of the uh, trash mob humans that uh, don't have much armor um, don't have much resistance to anything uh, so they go down pretty easy as you can see outlaw marauders things like that it's good and I but uh, against things like the iron clad lunatics and all that especially when paired with a uh, flame of the firehawk uh, again which is fire but it just helps that uh, get that extra damage off and chip away at their health it does do pretty well love the fast fire rate love the uh, the high damage over time on it as well this is a damn good weapon and a lovely looking flamethrower effect on it as well so uh, yeah there you go guys that was another modded weapon guide that was the Moxstraza made by Smot Pokin 42,000 over on the Borderlands 2 community github let me know what you think of this down in the comments below but now thank you and I'll see you in the next one